So it's, uh, I was out here uh, yesterday. I had a few baths uh, before dark, but uh, perfect day out. It's just real overcasty, drizzly, uh, nobody out. Not raining, just a mild wind, maybe 10 mile an hour. Gusts here. And had a few baths, so I came back today. And just getting started here. They're all exciting when you're getting them like this. That's a beauty. Probably could go with a smaller fly and catch a few more bass, but uh, I'm sticking with the bigger bucktail uh, right now. And that's a nice size one, about six inches or so, five, six, somewhere in there. Um, just hoping that you know gets a lot of attention, maybe from the bigger fish. interesting um so we saw that there's sand eels about and uh i'm not a big match to hatch kind of fisherman actually i'm not a big you've been following the channel a big match to hatch kind of person anyway so uh i'm just going to be throwing i'm starting with this lighter color now in the day and i'm going to go to a darker bucktail 360 they kind of look like those here got the yellow on the tip there and uh throw some darker ones i might throw some deceivers too but Gonna stick with the Bucktail 360s for now in a bigger size. It's a three of them. All right, I'm just getting started here. I'm doing a little fly fishing today. Um, had some smaller fish here uh, just yesterday, so I figured I'd take the fly rod out. Uh, we got a drop in sun, a rising tide. Um, there's some small bait in the water. And there were fish around yesterday, so. Maybe there'll be a few around today. I'm just going to be throwing some 360 bucktails. Um, basically, it's the same fly that I use as my teaser. And uh, we'll talk about what I'm doing. Um, one grand fish would be nice, or maybe we'll get a few small ones. Not sure yet, just working the water. I haven't had...
do that at home. Alright, uh, it's going to be getting dark soon. So I'm going to be fishing probably a little bit into the dark. But before then, let me just talk about uh, what I'm using today. I'm using a sinking tip line. Uh, I believe it's an eight weight, an eight weight rod. Um, and it's probably about four or five inches per second. Probably sinking a little slower in the current. And uh, I got on about four feet. What's this? I got one. Yeah. Is that another fluke? No, oh, it got away. I got on about, I don't know what, oh, it might have been a skate. I got on about four feet of fluorocarbon leader and uh, 15 pound test today. Um, I'm treating myself to the fluorocarbon leader. And of course, right now I'm using the purple uh, Bucktail 360 fly. I don't know what that was. It didn't feel like a bass though. Might've been a fluke or a skate. Might've been a fluke. Pretty sure it's a bass. Little, 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 Actually, right now, I'm kind of just working in with the fly and the current. I think you can get more work time. So I'm slowly kind of walking with the fly, working it through, letting it drop, and then getting it back in. We've got a couple now. Wow, what is this? No way, it's a fluke! Almost November fluke. No way. Wow. So I think I had a fluke in April. And we're in almost November now. It's just before Halloween. And we're still picking that fluke. That is wild. I always say you get a run of them in late October. That is wild. I thought for sure he was fast. Pretty cool stuff. And I'm just swinging the fly. A little bit of swing in the line. I'm just working it through nice and slow. And fast sometimes and medium. But just kind of swinging it through and working it back. getting dark now so I think next cast definitely headlamps on into the night we go good enough The neat thing when you work your fly into the night, you got your stretch of line down, you kind of got your cast down, the wind's down, and the wind's taper down, and you'll be casting just as good in the night as you would have in the day. Um, 
just because you got your whole rhythm down already. You're not walking out into the night trying to gauge the winds and get this cast set up. You kind of feel it out. So we're all set. I'm going to cast a little bit into the dark here. Coming in now. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to turn on the light when I get a close eye. Like now. Oh, whoa. Oh, that is definitely a nice fish. Oh, wow, he's lunging. He don't want to come in. Oh, come on, come on. There he is. Wow, see how big. He's a nice one. I don't think he's a keeper, but I'm gonna walk him up to the beach. He don't want to come in. He's a beauty. That's a nice one. Ooh. Wow, he's chunky. Get my fly back. Didn't get him on his way. He really took some nice lunges. Get him, get him going. Gotta be 24. Yeah, he's bigger. Almost 26. Right. Let's get him going. Maybe we'll get a few more. Or maybe not. <laughs> This is the fly I'm using. It's the same fly I use as a teaser. It's the Bucktail 360 um, Deceiver, if you may. And uh, it's got to be... Uh, it, looks, it blows up in the water. It's at least six inches. And uh, purple 3.0 hook. And uh, the same one I use as a teaser. So this is what I'm using tonight. I think he's bigger than the, he might be bigger than the last guy. He's got me about down to the reel. So we are gonna play him by the reel. Just digging. He's a good one. I'm sorry about the camera, the light. I just want to get him in, so I'm going to be looking at what I got to do. So this camera is going to be. He's a keeper. Oh, he's a beauty. He's a beautiful fish. There he is. Right up on the surf. Wow. That's a keeper. Wow, he's fat too. Woo! That was exciting. Oh boy. Let's get him up. 
Wow, he's fat. He is fat. Yeah, he's, he's a nice fish. Get this. that in <coughs> and that's just almost two inches so it's at least 27 I know that okay, let's get him on his way And 30 pound test just in case we get something big big um, but it's getting dark I mean it's dark now it's late now so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be fishing for good. all right a pretty fun one um, when I just want to do some fly fishing I get into some bass and got some bonus fluke and uh, that was a surprise but I said you always get them in uh, uh, October there's usually like a flurry of them that come around and kind of late it's almost just about november halloween's just uh a day or two away but uh definitely a good one with the bucktail uh 360 uh teaser the same fly i this one probably got a ton of bass it's probably the same fly that i've been working as a teaser and uh but uh the purple did it and uh, white in the day but uh, anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, dislike, comment, whatever you have to say. Subscribe to the channel or not. And uh, remember always, fish your way. <laughs> thanks again for watching. Have a great afternoon, night, day, evening, wherever you are. I'm going to take a few more casts. See what happens.